Um, serenity now. My name is Wanda Montemayor. Welcome to Quarantines. Today, we're gonna to be addressing how to regulate our kids. We've talked about how our kids right now may be struggling. This is one of my favorite authors, Bessel van der Kolk. He wrote The Body Keep Score. That's one of the leading books on trauma and pre-trauma experiences. And so some of these strategies that I'm using are great for right now, but are gonna be great all the time. Um, children and adults handle and process trauma and different responses differently. So we're gonna use some of these strategies for how you can deepen that relationship with your kids and teens. Some of the best ways to regulate our kids, we're just gonna hit on three, but the first one is predictability. Okay, when things aren't predictable, then that creates unsafe feelings. Keeping a schedule regardless of what that is, very simple, is really gonna help your kids regulate right now. One of the most important times is gonna be making sure that you have a scheduled family dinner, okay? Um, and having things on the calendar, having those landmarks, having that graduation on the calendar, but predictability is really gonna help your kids regulate their emotions. The second one is creating safe home space. So what that means is everyone needs some moments to decompress. Everyone gets to say, I need 45 minutes alone time, and that will really help them re-regulate, reconnect their brain wiring, and not be so stimulated. What happens is that we just get really overstimulated when we're worried or exasperated, and so you need to take down that stimulation for your kids and your teens. The fun part is connectability. Helping feel connected really regulates. And some of my favorite activities that we can do as a family um, are really fun, they're free. Um, the first one that I like to talk about is sing song. So we know when you're creative, you're accessing those different parts of your brain and you're regulating. So movement, art, anything creative that addresses that non-verbal part of your brain is really gonna help with getting those feelings out, which is what your kids and your teens and even you need to do. And having that special time with your kid also just helps embrace making that connectivity. So my favorite thing to do in the house is we like to make a sing song. Everyone might not have really good musical skills. It's hard to believe, but I was not trained as a professional musician. What we do to make things safe is we turn on karaoke. There's a really good one called Sing Kink. Okay, and so that way the words are listed on the screen. Everyone gets to pick one song and that way there's background music and we can all celebrate together. Sing King is a YouTube channel that is free and accessible to anyone who's got internet. So one fun thing to do with Sing King is we have everyone go and grab an instrument, a makeshift instrument. It could be anything and that's kind of the fun part because everyone gets to participate in the song together. So singing is releasing, it's fun, it's creating those natural endorphins. So these are some of my favorite. We've got anything that you can do. We've got, I personally love a cowbell. Anything. So the fun part is everyone gets to go run around the house before we do this and you go, okay, everyone get your instrument and makeshift instruments I think might be personally the best. And then everyone participates and you could even have a contest as who's the silliest, who has the funniest song. The next idea for being creative and helping regulate those, those nervous systems is having some art time. Nobody has to be a professional artist. You can even use natural things outside. You can make art in the yard with rocks and stones. So that's getting you outside, that's getting you creative and that's having some fun time. Um, another one, cooking, we've talked about. Um, gardening, things that make you use your body. I love a dance party, and we know that when you dance party, especially if you move left to right, that left to right motion right there, that bilateral stimulation does this to your brain, okay? So those are just some really quick ideas. Hopefully you implement a few of those to help get those kids. I know that you guys are doing a great job emotional coaching and connecting. Um, more to come. Thank you.